heard you say I guess as a farmer there's two things we do and we harvest sunlight and water and we turn that sunlight and water into grass. You know, that's all that wool, wool needs to grow, grass. It's just natural. I found you by the old tree Something we can both see You know, my, my family moved out here from England in 1880 Prior to that, they'd been farming for 500 years. And every generation, it's been harder and harder to sort of move ahead financially with sheep. I mean, um, we had a big wool boom in the 50s because of um, the Korean War, and basically a bale of wool could buy a brand new motor car. Now, you have to sell 30 bales of wool to buy a motor car. So if Grandfather George came to see us today, do you think you'd be happy? Oh, I think he'd be blown away, wouldn't he? Like, just the, they've doubled in size. The wool quality's also doubled in quality. He'd probably be pretty excited. Yeah, he'd, want he'd to, love um, to come back. He'd want to get in and then he'd have another opinion and have to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> because it's hard getting to the top. It's even harder staying there to keep it moving forward so that um, our genetics are at the elite end of the industry still. It's like we're training for the Olympics every year and we're trying to go for the, for the, you know, you're always aiming for the gold medal type thing. And that, we incorporate that in sheep breeding as well, is that we're always yeah, on a big fitness <laughs> region, regime. regime, sorry, to um, improve what we have. And it is constant. Oh, let's run away and not know where we are going to. Let's go far today and it's all gonna be wonderful. The sheep, because they're healthier and happier and more resistant to disease, actually produce more. They cut more wool, they um, grow into bigger bodied sheep, and they produce more lamps. So it's a win, win, win for the sheep, win for the environment, and a win for us financially as well. You know, there's, there's thousands of lives on this farm that rely on what we do, and it is, um, a high pressure job in that sort of sense. We tend to go to bed thinking about it, we tend to get up in the morning thinking about it. And that's the challenge. 